Hello and welcome to our Be Entrepreneur channel. Today, our guest is a man of vast experience in the business field, Mr. Michael Jackson, who is a project manager and a business leadership coach and an international speaker at Elevate. Hello, Mr. Michael Jackson. Good morning. Good morning. Please tell us a little bit more about Elevate and uh, what inspired you to create the business. So Elevate's uh, just a, simply a, a shell company that we use. Uh, it's, it's designed specifically for the purpose of, of running a coaching uh, company. Okay. So the, the, the whole idea is coaching. Everything's about coaching with me. Um, we don't just talk about coaching individuals, we talk about coaching teams and ultimately coaching businesses overall. So that, that's the whole purpose of, of Elevate is to actually enable businesses to actually be better and actually provide a better value to their, their customers. What was the inspiration behind this business? I, I was inspired by, uh, funnily enough, by football. Um, you know, one of the things that I, uh, struck me very odd was that we, we all follow football, not all of us, but many of us follow sports. We watch footballers and that sort of thing. Um, underlying all of that, though, when you analyse it, is that all of the footballers have got coaches. So I, I kind of thought, well, why don't we apply that kind of concept in business? And we do, to a certain extent, people have executive coaches, but it's very rare that you see entire executive teams being coached. That's and that's the kind of the concept that we're working on. Yeah, I see. Oh, it's always about British people in the football. You guys are always <laughs> an inspiring kind of a thing. Okay. And for the record, the football team was Man United because I grew up in Manchester. So, yeah. <laughs> I see. I'm actually a Man City uh, oh, like fan. No, so. <laughs> Should I even be talking to you? Rivals, yes. yeah. <laughs> So because we're not very familiar with this kind of uh, coaching business, tell us what do you think people like attitude about the business and um, why do people need coaching in the first place? Okay. So generally speaking, people think coaching is, there's something wrong with me and co I need to be coached to make it right, you know, as yeah. you saw, which is actually, there is an element of coaching that does do that. You know, we do what we call behavioral coaching where we, we try and correct people's behaviors. Um, so you may have a racist element or you may want to quit smoking or you may want to lose weight or whatever it is. Coaching can help do that. Um, but there's, there's, a, there's another part of coaching which is about growing people. You know, coaching is, is creative. It's a co-creation with two people. It's a conversation where you take somebody and you start questioning them about their ideas, the way they think, their perceptions, and then you help them or work with them to move to a slightly different area, to work towards bigger ideas. Now, when we apply that on an individual, it's powerful, but when you put that in a team concept, it's magnificent, it really is. When you watch a team come together and start creating amongst themselves and saying, actually, we don't need to do that. If we did this, this, and this, we could do this and that. And all of a sudden you see all these light bulbs going off and people kind of go, yeah, we can do that. And then they get behind each other. So that's, what, that's, the, that's why I get the buzz. That's the, I see. Uh, of course, there were challenges creating this sort of business. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the challenges and how you overcame some of them. So the, the biggest challenge that I face is, is actually getting people to understand they need coaching. Um, there, are, there are hundreds of CEOs, yeah. CEFOs out there who say, I'm already at the top of my tree, I don't need coaching. Um, I always, again, come back to maybe a football game or something, you know, a football team is a bunch of very expensive individuals. And it's the same with a C team, you know, it's a C suite. There's a bunch of very expensive individuals all doing their own thing. But what happens if they work as a team? You know, it's just like a footballer at the front is no good unless the ball is fed to him. The goalkeeper at the back is no good unless the defence defend before the ball gets to him. So you need, that. there's all those aspects of the team that have to come together. And from an academic perspective, there's some really interesting stuff coming out about team coaching now. So That's Professor cool. Clutterback, who's a, a friend of mine, is actually, some of the stuff he's writing is, is really phenomenal. I see. Uh, to get more familiar with this kind of a thing, tell us what happens in the coaching session and what are the common questions that you get from people like during the session? Okay. Well, the, the most obvious thing is, is people are concerned about being honest and about opening up. Because um, they, they feel, that if I tell you my secrets, then you're going to go and tell everybody else. Um, I, I'm a, a member of the, the ICF, which is the International Coach Federation, and we have a very strict uh, policy of ethical coaching. Okay. So one of the things that I, I subscribe to, 
uh, and advocate very strongly is, is that um, it's a bit like legal, you know, the American legal attorney system where they I have co-confidentiality. Yeah. It's exactly the same story. There's, there is uh, a very strong concept of confidentiality. You share something with me, I can't share that with somebody else, you know, and I certainly won't mention your name or, you know, you in a I particular see. context. The other thing is, is that a lot of people, you know, like I said earlier, they're just concerned that coaching is because there's something wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with you. You know, it's, it's about let's, let's look at you and that's what can we make better. So it's about taking areas. You may feel a little bit weak in a particular area. Public speaking, one of my favorite subjects, you know. Often we find people are very concerned about going up and doing a presentation or whatever it is. If you join something like Toastmasters where you get regular feedback, that teaches you or enables you to become even better. So you start off, at, you know, and you can do build and develop. And as long as somebody's giving you feedback, that's what counts. And a coach is the same. Is is a coach asks you to reflect. What are you doing differently today to what you did yesterday? And if you look at the the way people develop, there's an S curve. Again, it's this science behind it. But you start off not knowing what you're doing. You then move into a comfort zone because I know what I'm doing. And then you get to the point where you're so comfortable that you're kind of looking around and saying, well, this is easy, what's next? But to get better, you need to step back and find something that you're not good at, and then you bounce into it. And that's how we improve. It's, there's, a, there's a whole S-curve thing there. I see. Uh, from a man of uh, your experience, tell us, like, how do you encourage people that want to start uh, such businesses or entrepreneurs in general? So... Two things for entrepreneurs. One is get a coach um, because it helps in that side of it. The second thing is if you want to be a coach, I would recommend that you, there are a lot of schools out there, so find a school that you are happy with. Um, the local school here is uh, with this Beckett McKinroy, and there's also a school called CTI. There's also a couple of um, uh, Arab speaking schools. Zach runs a school here, Zachariah runs a school here, which is very good. Um, Go to a, a formal uh, credential service like ICF, for instance, or there's the European community. So there's a, a thing called EMCA, well, EMCC, sorry, which is the European Mentors and Coaches Confederation. Um, they have select, or they've got states, um, what do they call it, certification levels. So for instance, at ICF, it's ACC, PCC, and MCC. So it's Associate, Professional, and Masters. And it's all dependent on how long you've been doing this and how they, 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 you know, you're considered in the community to be certified. Um, I see. So, uh, do you have anything more to add? I can talk about coaching all day, but I mean... I can see. <laughs> he speaks passionate, so passionately about the topic. Anyways, um, that would be it for today. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Jackson, for this amazing interview. And we'll see you next video.